don't normally moan about movies, but I am going to have a moan. When Sylvester Stallone made the first Expendables, I was an 80s kid. So when it came to 80s movies and 80s action stars, The Expendables was an amazing thought, an amazing mind meld of creation to, to do. And as an action movie, it was amazing to see all the old stars together in a movie. Then the second one came along. They added Van Damme as a baddie, probably played one of his best roles. Again, it was a decent movie. Then the third one came along and it was at this point that it started to pee me off a little bit because they added a female UFC fighter um, I can't think of a name off the top of my head um, she's a bit cocky in real life she's got reason to be, she was a UFC champion uh, but that wasn't my point my point was is to talk about uh, having females in movies and great action star females um, and a lot of people failed to mention Cynthia Rothrock um, now Cynthia Rothrock should have been in an Expendables movie she's as famous as any of the men in them movies from the 80s she was her own, She was doing it before any of these pe m female stars like they mentioned like Sigourney Weaver and stuff like that Cynthia Rothrock she was doing it well before them she was the lead in most of the movies amazing but number three was me and then last night I saw that Expendables 4 had been added to Amazon Prime now I'd never watched it because I'd heard bad things about it so I'd never watched it <laughs> And I watched it last night and I've got to say that is the worst movie I've ever watched in my entire life. Now I'm all for, as I've just explained, having a female action star in a movie. But Megan Fox, seriously, she... How can you put it across? She looked like she'd just walked out fresh out of out of the hairdressers, fresh out of the beauticians, absolutely perfect, going on missions with basically ruffians. Um, no, the it was like Statham and Sylvester Stallone had phoned, literally just phoned it in. The acting for them two especially was proper square. It was proper bad, like really bad. It, this is how they spoke. So, you think we can do this? Why do you say this about us? You know we are capable. It was really bad. <laughs> now, Sylvester Sloan wasn't in the movie for long. He was only in the beginning. Obviously, he was doing some other things while they were filming this. So he probably could only do three or four days of shooting or whatever. Um, listen, Stavem always performs. His fighting scenes are always great. You, there's no denying that. We all know he's good at that. That's what he's best at doing. Um, action fighting action scenes that's he's really good at that but he's acting in this oh my god and also let's not mention the green screens because this was like watching youtubers make green screens it was horrendous horrendously bad the story the there was a, a, a supposed twist at the end which you could see coming a mile away um that was awful they they tried to make it bloody and a lot of uh, you know tried to make people like in the first one it was a really bloody film and then they toned it down for the second and third one where this one I think they tried to go back with the shock factor of the blood and people's heads exploding and, but, but the trouble was is they used I don't know what they used 
cap cut maybe for the blood effects it was <laughs> horrendous uh, totally misused Tony Tony Jar. Uh, it's just bad dude I, I, I can't explain how bad that movie was and I'm not one for moaning about movies me if I don't like a film I'd, ne I'd never make a video about it but this one I just had to say this is probably the worst movie I've ever seen and I've seen some bad movies in my time um, so don't under any circumstances watch Expendables 4 because it is shit over and out see you in the next one